All right, we're back. I promise I wasn't just fucking around with the sword. All right. Um, got your thrust Have control. Have you found modules. the components we discussed? Yeah. Uh, thrust control. Indeed, you did, and they seem to be in excellent condition. All right, so uh, the rockets uh, good to go. Yes. I'll tell Jason that the great journey can begin. Okay. We have everything we need to launch the rockets, Jason. The great journey can begin. Hey, other all. May the Creator guide my words and help me speak true. The Almighty Creator has seen fit to answer our prayers. The time has come for us to board the rockets and begin the great journey. Though it may seem that all humans despise us, the Creator has seen fit to instruct us differently. The journey ahead would have been impossible if not for the intercession of two human friends, one you, the other a long-abiding companion. To our new friend, we say thanks and promise never to forget how we cleared from our path the demons who sought to stay our journey. But to Chris, we owe more than thanks. Chris, you have made this great journey a reality. From this moment forward, you will be remembered as the saint of the great journey. We shall never forget you. I ask that you forgive us, Chris, and give us your blessing. And we bestow ours upon you. Seekers, board the rockets. Take your seats. The great journey awaits. To the promised land we go. To the far beyond. Do they... Are they gonna go up those ladders? I, I doubt it. <laughs> uh... Did you hear him? My god, you were right all along. I'm no ghoul. They were just using me. I mean, to be honest, I, I feel like... Look, if Chris wants to believe he's a ghoul, let him go down there. He'll either die of radiation poisoning, find out he's not a ghoul, or he'll become a ghoul. Either way, problem solved. They'd take you if you could, but you'd die. And dying would be worse than this? Used up and thrown away like garbage? <sighs> They're going to revere you as a saint, Chris. Oh, so I've redeemed the human race, is that it? What a crock. The human race can't stand me. It's not true, Chris. You're all right. Just all right. So, you want me to accompany you on your adventures across what? the wasteland, is no. that it? What? Not at all. There's a little town called Novak down the road. Life among humans again? That's what you're suggesting? I guess... I guess it's the only chance I've got. Yeah, I don't want Maybe you as a it'll be different this time. I was never a saint before. I can't believe I'm agreeing to this, but I'll give it a try. You go launch the rockets. I'm on my way to Novak. All right. I don't have to come back down here. <laughs> well, actually, I still will have to come back down here. Does that all lead anywhere? all these rooms. God, there's so much I'm going to have to loot off camera. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute.
Let's see. What's my uh, science at? 94. Oh, wow. Didn't think it was that high. I thought it was like 50 or something. data further examining the trajectories a little further it looks like the computer is set to take a non-optimal route to the specified destination you surmise that with minor alterations you can plot a course that will take them about 12.5 percent closer to their intended destination do you wish to alter the rocket's course yeah make the change you modify the path of the rockets to land closer to their target Okay. Um. Flight of the Valkyries. that one rocket made it <laughs> enough of your good work has been passed around that people like you well, okay nice wait did we gain we gained NCR fame really why did we gain NCR fame so liked idolized vilified accepted I'm curious to see how that, that works out when we actually get there. Does that mean uh, everything in here, free game? What is left in here? <laughs> Did I already clear this place out? Employee terminal. Hello, Martin. First, let me thank you for all your years of dedicated service with me and the rest of the Repcon family. Without all your hard work, we would not have achieved a fraction of the success that we enjoy today. That being said, the face of Repcon is getting younger, and according to my records, you have been fully vested in your pension for a little more than two years. Given the recent incident, I think that this is an excellent time for you to retire gracefully. Your friend, Stevie. Fuck you, Stevie. Um... Well, the episode just started. We're already done. Um, hmm. Let's uh, head back to Novak. Oop, not that way. Alright, one of these leads. My 
actually, instead of Novak, let's go Good Springs. We'll see Doc Mitchell about these uh, cyberware implants we've uh, acquired. Got one of the best ones in game. Those stealth nanobots. Uh, I just want to double check. See another patient? Did I interrupt? Another psych exam? How are you holding up? Um, I need. Sure, I can help you out. Surgery. All right. So the kinetic accelerator is that an arm? Yeah. Reload speed. Okay. Damn, we are about to be out of caps. Um, all right, let's. So, all right, is B hotkeyed? No. So let's uh, stealth field. We'll make that B. Boom. Okay, Look stealth at that. mode on. And with this new uh, kinetic accelerator. Fives up there. I say, finishing up this episode, let's uh, just get up to the 195, maybe Boulder City. Maybe. Because it is getting late. It is 1.30 a.m. real time. Who's out there? Oh, uh, Paradise Lost, Charisma increased by one. And that's all just quotes from Paradise Lost. All right, so I picked up a second copy of that. Hey, I'm wondering. You need something? Uh, 
Go to your books. No. Okay. So I just have a copy of Paradise Lost in my inventory forever. Okay. Okay. Now you will serve as an example. When the hell did you get Kaisar's here? Legion. Defend yourself. What? I turned my back for like five seconds. Seriously? Someone's still alive? Where? Who? Alright, well I appreciate you guys showing up because at least now I have some shit I can sell. Uh, one of you had something... Automatic carbine. I don't think I... Just... Hmm. Graded parts. Okay. Did I just change the color of it? Yeah, it did. Personal touch. What, a pack of cigarettes in the back? Huh. Alright. Hmm. That's cool. It actually shows the ammo. I think a lot of uh, mod authors are realizing people are using B-42 uh, inspect. So they're now putting uh, ammo in their magazines. Alright, we got something up ahead. Friends are dead. Oh man, you had flat points? You could kill a person with those. That JFP ammo is no joke. As a new sheriff, that should keep the powder things away. Watch out! Alright, might be a skill book in here. Or something.
Sturdy lever action shotgun. Ooh. Okay, well there's that. Um Sevens. Tell you what, why don't hey, I give you these? You need some? Uh. Okay, here you go. God, why are you picking up stuff? What? Why the fuck do you. Ugh. Seriously. Here, you can use. Okay. Nope, not that. Yeah, you're probably not going to use it. Walking ant. Oh, we got a turd. Turd alert. Oh, I see another turd out there. stranger howdy there partner mighty fine guitar you got there oh this old thing why thanks friend this here guitar is just about the only thing my daddy left me uh, have you been playing long just about my whole life ever since my daddy left Ma and me and went off to roam the wastes what's your story my story's a long one friend and I can't say as it's all that interesting well, you already got me interested. Well, I was born in a little town out Montana way. Me and Ma didn't have much ever since my pa up and left. Uh-huh. You've mentioned that three times now. That he did. Never did know why. Ma always said he was a real mysterious fella, even when he was with her. Like he was a stranger sometimes. Uh-huh. Sounds like you miss him. Is that why you're out here wondering? Maybe. Maybe I just never felt like I belonged back home. Uh, must have been hard growing up without a father. It sure wasn't easy. Ma worked her fingers to the bone to make sure we had enough to survive. And I worked the coal mines from when I was 15. 
After Ma died, I guess I wanted to find my pa and get some answers from him. Been out here looking ever since, but he ain't an easy man to find. Uh-huh. And what will you do when you find him? Can't say as I really know. Maybe I'll just ask him why. Maybe I'll punch him right in the mouth. Hell, the more I talk about it, the more the whole damn thing sounds like a dumb idea. Hmm. Sounds like you should move on. Settle down, maybe. Maybe I should. Don't suppose you know any place a fellow with a guitar might find a job, huh? Bison Steve is, uh, open up a casino soon. But, uh, can't say that I do, sorry. Ah, uh, well, it was worth a shot. Goodbye. So long, friend. to see here nothing to see here It's gone. Howdy there, partner. Mighty fine guitar. Oh, this old thing? What? <laughs> Alright, see ya. I am a scumbag. I am a scumbag. To the East Blue Colorado River. To the snow capped Rockies, I am a scumbag just like you. Fence, but you look like you've traveled a long way down some bad roads. Where'd you come from? Uh, the grave. Huh. Well, in that case, I take it back. You look pretty good, given the circumstances. Well, welcome then. I'm Veronica. I live in a hole in the ground. No, well, I live in a metal box in the ocean. Well, a bunker, if you want to get technical. I think it sounds more interesting my way. But I'm not there much anymore. I'm usually out here picking up food and supplies for my family. Whatever they need. Uh-huh. You just leave them in the bunker? Yeah, I'm not worried. They can handle themselves. But somebody has to get the groceries, know what I mean? <sighs> and actually these days, I think they'd rather have me out here anyway. But that's a whole other story. So listen, can I ask you something on the level? Uh, go ahead. I had a run-in with this group calling themselves the Brotherhood of Steel. Pretty strange bunch. Do you know anything about them? Uh... They've got the right idea. Do they? Oh, that's a relief. I wasn't so sure myself. Protecting people from technology seems like a big job for such a small group. Hey, so where are you headed anyway? Uh... Kind of just drift. Just wherever the wind takes you, huh? I like that. Keeps things interesting. I'll be honest. You're the first person I've run across mm. out here that looks like he can really handle himself. There are places I've never been to that'd be too dangerous for just me. What do you think? Maybe we could travel together. Help each other out. Are you recruiting me or am I recruiting you? 
Uh, okay. Now you're talking. One thing you should know first, though. I ask you about the Brotherhood because I'm one of them. I know, I know, but I had to know how you react when I told you. We have made a lot of enemies. You still okay bringing me along? Hmm. Hmm. Actually, I'm more comfortable now that I know you've had some training. I'm, I'm sorry, great I'm at punching only... people. I'm not gonna lie. It's a gift. Yeah. Well, thanks for taking a chance on a naive young girl from California with stars in her eyes and a pneumatic gauntlet on her hand. Let's hit the road, huh? You gave me a perk that Eddie already has. All right, then. What? Oh, yeah. I forgot about you. Is there some reason I should be talking to you? Uh, so you're a gun runner? <laughs> like you have a clue what that even means. Uh, tell me about the gun runners. The gun runners have been putting rapid fire death dealing in the hands of anyone who needed to defend himself for over a century. Mm -hmm. We're the NCR's number one supplier of weapons and ammunition. You might call us an unofficial branch of the army. Uh, what do you do? I'm a salesman. I swing through McCarran and the dam once a week or so to take orders. But lately, I spend most of my time in this piss heap. Ever since the 15 shut down, all caravans come through here, right to me. I check the stock and direct deliveries onward to meet orders. Sure, it stinks to hang out here, but it won't be forever. Plus, I can afford a monthly bender on the strip and still build up my nest egg. Hmm. Tell me about the caravans. Not much to tell. A Brahmin or two loaded up with weapons hmm. and a whole mess of well-armed guards to make sure it ends up where it's supposed to. One hmm. nifty bit, though. The gun cases are rigged to explode, so trying to loot one of our caravans doesn't do much good. And that's how the NCR stays equipped. The only thing we don't bring in is energy weapons. Well, why not just loot the dead guards if you attack the caravan? We used to, but every caravan carrying them was getting ambushed and wiped out. By someone sophisticated enough to know which was which. But we think it was the Brotherhood of Steel. Those crazies always go hard for energy weapons. But the NCR would rather pretend they killed all of them. Mm-hmm. I'd like to see what you have for sale. Am I selling? Yeah. Am I selling to you? No. Sorry to hurt your feelings, but you're small time. Move along. I figure a guy like you gets his pick of killing gear. You might be onto something. I like to hang on to any weapons mods I run across. Take a look. All right, miniature gun runners. Oh, that's right. We don't have any fucking money. Well, we've got some stuff we can sell. Yeah, not much. <laughs> All right. Pleasure doing business with you. 
There's usually a gun merchant hanging around topside. I'm sure she'll take care of you. Okay. Finally, get an anti-material rifle for sale. The GRA variant. Uh, we'll be able you to a merc? Because you don't look like a prospector. It. Sure. Nope. Hmm. We have been looking for one of these for quite some time. I don't even have it equipped anymore. Uh, there we go. Hello. Alright, so which way is it to Boulder City? That way. Okay. Well, I think this is uh, our stopping point for tonight. We will be back later today. I hope you all have a wonderful night or day or whatever. See you then.